welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodi and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health and your life. In this video I want to share a tip with you that is going to help you have a flatter stomach. It's nothing to do with training or food. This tip I'm going to give you, don't roll your eyes or anything because it's actually so important not just for having a flatter stomach and presenting yourself well. It's so important for feeling good within yourself, feeling powerful, feeling confident. Now, I just got back from a yoga retreat in Bali, had the best time, met a number of women I've never met in my life. And I was talking to one of them on my last day there and she gave me the nicest compliment. And it's a compliment I actually get quite frequently, especially from people that I spend significant time with, like at a yoga retreat or when I went to hang out with some of my clients in Europe last year, I also got this compliment. And the compliment is that I have really good posture. And one of the reasons for that is I have trained myself to sit and stand with good posture because it not only helps to keep your spine and your back healthy and prevent lower back pain, it also helps in terms of how you present yourself and how you show up to the world, right? If you're walking around slouch like this, then you're not gonna look confident, you're not gonna look like you're in your power. And so it's much better to train yourself to have your shoulders back and down and to kind of keep your core on to then protect your spine when you're sitting, when you're walking around. And that's just what I've trained myself to do now. And you can train yourself to do it as well. It might not feel comfortable at first, but it's possible because I didn't have good posture once upon a time. And the reason I've trained myself to have good posture is my dad yelled at me for having bad posture. Then I started to notice a difference in terms of how people interacted with me based on having a better posture. Now I wanna show you how this relates to a flat stomach as well, because as you can see, like I am not, I would not call myself fat right now. I'm not at my leanest, but I'm also not at my heaviest and I'm proud and happy with my body, right? Like if I'm in good lighting and, you know, flex my abs, then I can see my abs. And sometimes in the right lighting, I can see my ribs as well. Like I'm definitely not overweight, but if I sit with bad posture, then it looks completely different, right? If I'm just sitting like this on the couch, then it doesn't look like I train at all. But if I sit up like this, which is my normal posture now, then it looks totally different, doesn't it? So make sure when you are comparing yourself to other people online, and I know we're not meant to do that, but the truth is we all do it, right? Make sure you also have the same posture as them because it does actually make a difference. And it's something you can start to work on now to help make your stomach flutter without even having to worry about training or nutrition. Obviously, yes, training and nutrition is an important part of it to get rid of body fat, to reveal your like ab muscles if that's what you want and you have to grow your ab muscles by doing ab exercises in the gym correctly too but a missing part to having a flat stomach is having good posture as well and it really really matters in the gym especially when you're training to make sure you are engaging your core correctly and having a good posture in the exercises that you're doing now in some cases this might mean arching your back if you're doing a bench press powerlifting style for example but in a lot of cases, it is going to mean having no arch in your lower back and having your sternum stacked over your belly button so your ribs are stacked and your core can then be engaged. Because having your ribs slid like this is not how you engage your core. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please like it. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If you have questions, feel free to send me an email. I put that in the description box. And I will see you in the next video.